Greetings everyone, your Kicking Life Guru Master Rich Grogan here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So today's bang bang, or actually right hook reality. How about that one, huh? I'm all excited today. Excited every day. Anyway, is, what is it? Grit and endurance, attitude and effort. And it's kind of our whole theme here at the Academy is not everybody gets a belt and absolutely nobody, no one is entitled. I, uh, man, if you use that word entitled, just get that thing out of your vocabulary. It does no good. Uh, my philosophy on entitlement, in case you want to know, is my philosophy on entitlement, the only thing you're entitled to is BANG! A good old-fashioned butt kicking, right? <laughs> I know, for some of our other friends, like, Whoa, wait a minute, dude. Seriously, don't use that word, okay? Earned, earned, earned. Because the world, you're not entitled to anything, and you're not going to get anything with that mindset. I want the mindset of I've worked hard and I've earned it. Now, are you always going to get stuff when you work hard? No, I'm a realist. Man, I've worked my butt off my whole life, and I've been in business 21 years. I've led to two bankruptcies, a house foreclosure, yeah, car repossessions, some health issues. Was I entitled to those things? I don't know if I was or not, but I got them. <laughs> so hard work and effort. And the whole part of this is grit and endurance to battle through those adversities, to battle through those challenges, because life is going to kick your butt. We know that. And as Rocky says, the world, nothing hits harder than life. World, mean, ugly, nasty place, it'll beat you to your knees and keep you there if you let it. You, me, nobody hits as hard as life. Yeah. Not about, as hard, not about how hard you can hit, about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Yes, that is how winning is done. And sometimes we need that reminder. So like I mentioned, get that word out of there. So what we talk about here and the only thing we evaluate on here at the, uh, evaluate for testing for purpose of getting their stripe or their belt, two things, attitude and effort. Of course, you have to have the grit, endurance, and determination, but that's it, attitude and effort. The attitude to do your best. You've got that attitude that I'm gonna do my best and the effort to actually do it. You do those two things and anything in life, I promise you'll get better. And that's the promise we make the kiddos there, even the adult students. If you do your best, I promise with everything I am, you'll become your best. I also promise if you don't, you won't. That's the other side of the coin. But it's your choice. You choose to put forth the effort, you choose to do it, or you choose not to. The same thing with manners. Same thing with being polite, with being kind, with being respectful. You either choose to be respectful or you choose not to. You choose to say please and thank you, good morning. You choose to smile or you choose not to. It's a choice. It's a choice. Now I know there's some days, man, it's tough. It's tough. You don't feel like smiling. Make the right choice because whether you do or whether you don't, the time you spent is gone forever. You'll never get that time back. So make the most of it. But that's here at the Academy. Not everybody gets a belt and uh, because you get what you earned, not what you think you're entitled to. That's the horrible mindset. Uh, and we have people come in here. They use those words. And I say, you know what? I don't know if that's going to work with us. We want to be for everybody, but we have got to make sure we fall between our, our core values, honor, integrity, discipline, and respect. Those are the core values of our studio and the core values of everything that circulates around that. And our mission is to empower empower kids and adults to believe in themselves and respect others and why do we do that because truly we want to make our society a happier healthier and safer place to live and by inspiring people and empowering people to believe in themselves and respect others by inspiring and empowering them to put forth their very best attitude their very best effort we're going to achieve that mission but collectively all of us working together because the world's it can be rough it can be tough and it doesn't matter what you think you're entitled to, you get what you earned. And the sooner we learn that lesson, the more we can start working on becoming the best version of ourselves. So as I said, not everybody gets a belt. What I mean by that is when kids start here, they get, uh, they get a t-shirt, a Grogan's t-shirt, to feel a part of the academy. However, right off the bat, we set the mindset and the precedence that you have to earn your uniform and earn your belt during that first four week trial period. Now, after, not only what they do at the academy, but most importantly, what they do at home as well, with the attitude and with the effort. After that four weeks, if they've proven that, then we award them their uniform, their belt, and a certificate of graduation. If they haven't, we can let them know the things we need to work on in order to move forward. And that, set that sets the mindset moving forward that I've got to work my tail off to get everything. Now, I never, ever evaluate on athletic ability or talent. Never. Skill, we evaluate on the learned skill, the skill that's learned through putting forth your very best effort. And let me give you an example of attitude and effort. Because everybody can make a choice to have the right attitude to try your best and then the actual effort of doing it. So here's a good difference. Poor attitude is, there's my punch, kind of limp noodle, weak wrist, right? Or 
boom, there's my punch, strong, tough. Ah! That's the attitude, that's the effort, and that's what we evaluate on. Just like doing push-ups. If you're doing your very, very best, you're gonna get better. If you're not, you're never gonna get better. So by the time you're orange belt or green belt and you've done, I don't know, two, 300 punches, if you're still going like this, kind of limp-wristed, limp noodle arm, man, <laughs> it's gonna catch up to you and you're not gonna continue passing. That's it. I mean, I want attitude and effort because you know how to do it right, but you chose not to. That's it, effort. So that's what we do here, attitude and effort. And I think that can apply to just about anything in life. Have the grit and endurance to battle through those adversities and have the attitude and effort to do your very, very best. So as always, folks, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your busy day. I know how sacred time is and the fact that you spent a couple of minutes with me means the world to me. Share this video with others to help continue to build that tribe of motivated, positive thinkers to make our society a happier, healthier, and safer place to live, 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 and then leave behind as we're gone, right? Leave your comments below. I love reading those, and I will personally reply back to everyone because you took the time to be with me today. So thank you, folks, and until we talk again, you get out there and do your best, have the best attitude, put forth your very best effort, make the right choices, and I promise you'll be your very best. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. I can't wait to talk to you again real soon. Have a great day, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.